Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm back, kind of, I think. The game has had some updates to rewards for regular activities and some events. If you've kept up on patch notes or paid close attention to things in-game, you're probably aware of all of this, but for those who don't have time for patch notes and probably aren't playing that active and just want to know what's changed and how you need to play, here we go. The first and biggest one I want to talk about is rewards for Chaos Forces, Fleets, and Scan Events. The resource rewards for these have more than doubled. For example, level 37 Scan Event, which is the highest you can get. 100,000 of each. Protected. And then 55,000 unprotected of each. So that's 155,000 of each resource. That's uh, roughly 600,000 resources every time you hit a Chaos Force at level 37. Don't skip your scan events. And regular Chaos Forces are just going to have to 55,000, which is still a big chunk. Hostile fleets. They're not as, for the AP, they're not as high as fleets, but they make up for it by giving you fragments and other, other things. So, previously, I had recommended that if you log in to burn your action points, burn them attacking hostile fleets with a small army, you know, failing just to get fragments. Uh, my recommendation is going to change because the resources from Chaos Forces is such a big deal now. If you're going to burn your action points, burn them attacking Chaos Forces. Just go after the highest one you can clear and just spam out fleets. Next is Breach Assault. So, this is a, a good change. This is something I... Uh, brought up in my opinion video so they had at first brought in hero crates and they went away and now they're back but they're even better than before because now you also get them for your daily individual grade rewards so if you need garadon fragments and you have a lot of time on your hands and a lot of action points, Breach Assault is now something you want to do. It's very much worth it to get your Garadon frags so you can level him up. As a free player, you need him for defense. And Alliance Augur Array is now on a 20-hour cooldown, I believe, so it can be done every day. Uh, your Alliance needs to be doing this daily. That's uh, half a million fuel and metal for your entire alliance, everybody in your alliance, every time you clear it. So that's half a million a day. If you got new players, that'll help them out. Even if you just got a bunch of high-level people, it's still resources that you can spend on troops. And, of course, your individual rewards as well. And... You don't have to go for the highest fleet. Go for the highest that you can clear reasonably. If you got a lot of high level people in your alliance, doing 45 constantly is not a problem. But if you're struggling with a bunch of level 30s, you might want to drop that down quite a bit. So to recap, do you scan events, burn your AP on Chaos Forces, and kill more orcs. Warhammer Skull Celebration starts in two days. It'll be a good time for Lost Crusade and a great time for Warhammer 40,000 fans. I hope to bring you guys a good video on uh, the events they have planned for Lost Crusade. Until next time, y'all have a good one.